Well, the big story that we are tracking, finally, vaccination will be open to every Indian above the age of 18 years who is eligible to get the coronavirus vaccine. This is going to come into effect from the 1st of May. The government has announced this after Prime Minister Modi held a series of meetings as India struggles to slow down the record daily surges in coronavirus cases across the length and breadth of the country. All adults will be vaccinated and states can buy vaccines directly from vaccine makers for this phase of the vaccination program. Now, this, remember, has been a long-standing demand that's been put forth by various states to the Prime Minister. Now, this decision, this important decision, has come on a day when India has reported 2.73 lakh daily COVID cases as of Monday. So far, the government's allowed vaccinations only for healthcare workers, frontline workers and those above the age of 45. Now, this is a centrally controlled process. Pricing, procurement, eligibility and administering of vaccines will be flexible in this latest round of the vaccination drive. So, according to the new vaccine rules, manufacturers will supply 50% of their doses to the central government, which will, remember, continue to administer vaccines to frontline workers, healthcare workers and those above the age of 45. And in government hospitals, this will continue to remain free of cost. The remaining doses of the vaccine will be supplied to state governments and to the open market. Vaccinations at central government centres, like I said, will continue to be provided free of cost and will only continue for those who are currently eligible. So healthcare workers, frontline workers and those above the age of 45 will still continue to get the vaccine free at government centres. But state governments, private hospitals, industrial establishments can now directly buy vaccine doses from manufacturers from the free market. The, these manufacturers, however, will have to declare the price for these vaccines in advance. So before it is supplied to state governments and open market, the vaccine manufacturers will have to declare this price in advance. Remember, there's so far no free vaccination for those below the age of 45, even though this is now an eligibility criteria that will be open from the first time. It's an extremely important announcement that's come at a time when India's reported its highest ever daily spike in COVID-19 cases. There were 2.73 lakh uh, cases that were reported on Monday. There were 1,600 deaths that were reported in this time period as well. One in three COVID cases globally is what India is contributing to this pandemic currently. 1,619 COVID-related deaths reported in the country in the last 24 hours. This is the highest ever. And that's just 38 less than Brazil, which is the highest all over the world. Overall, there are 16,000 people who've lost their lives in April alone. Just look at India's death toll. That's more than January, February and March of 2021 put together. Deaths have been rising at a scary rate of almost 10% a day this month. The first, wave, uh, the first wave peaked last September and the average was 1% a day. It's now 10% a day. 